Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our morning get-together live here on Facebook, where we take in all the good headlines we can find about our city, our state, our country. We take in your comments, your ideas, your suggestions, your questions, and we put it all together to try to have a more connected, better life here in Puerto Vallarta as a community of English-speaking locals. Our work week has come to an end. Today is Friday. February 25th, and it's a pleasure to see you this morning. This morning we have um, a few interesting bits of news, but more importantly, I went into town yesterday. I had a business meeting that turned out to be postponed while I was already in, in, trans, in transit. I was already heading in that direction. So I was in Emiliano Zapata thinking, what am I going to do with myself? So I had quick lunch with Logan, we went to um, we went to Whiskey Kitchen, and it was kind of like a my own personal see you later uh, lunch at Whiskey Kitchen in Conchas Chinas because I'm hoping that my next uh, Whiskey Kitchen experience will be at the upcoming branch that is going to be open here uh, around the corner from my house, and I'm really excited about that. So short. Um, lunch with Logan, and then I figured, what am I going to do with myself? And I figured there are three awesome new places south of the Kuala that people will want to know more about. The first one being Bonito Kitchen. The second one being the new art museum, which was mentioned earlier in the week. And of course, my friend Patricia Gall's new wonderful uh, ceramic studio and art gallery on Basilio Vadillo that she has just opened a week ago. So we took our cameras and microphone into the three places so that we could share them with you and give you yet more reasons to hang out in the neighborhoods uh, mentioned sometime in the near future. But before we go there, of course, we have our news to share and uh, we want to offer our usual invitation to new friends that are joining us for the first time to write the word new in your comment and we'll give you a nice little welcome. If you have something truly important that you wish to share with the cluster today, kindly add a capital letter Q and we'll make sure to get to it during the uh, comment section at the end of the broadcast. But first, let's take a look at the news. Okay, so apparently, Authorities are now present at Lázaro Cárdenas Plaza uh, with sound level meters to address the concerns brought forth by the owner of Hotel Eloísa, who, as I understand, is also the president of the Emiliano Zapata Neighborhood Association. How convenient about the excessive noise uh, being created by early morning fitness classes that have been taking place at the plaza for well over a decade. And this is a good thing that authorities are there. Since yesterday's broadcast, when we first brought this up to your attention, I've read some comments on the matter as to whether uh, the classes are too loud or not too loud. Some of your comments were favorable, others not so much. 
But the bottom line is the law is crystal clear on this matter as there is a very specific decibel level that is allowed and legal repercussions to go along should anyone go over that level. So as long as the teacher is not infringing the law by playing her music too loudly, she should be fine. According to the news item, authorities stressed that their presence at the plaza is not meant to intimidate, but rather to monitor what's going on and make sure that the law is being followed. Uh, -bam 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 -bam. Yes, a few days ago we reported on the concern that the Malecon business community expressed regarding ambulant vendors competing against established businesses. To that effect, Mayor Luis Michel has informed that no more permits will be issued. That said, some of the 140 legal permits that have already been issued by City Hall date back to over a decade, and vendors have every right to renew them whenever they are expected to do so. And yes, one could argue that people... Um, that these vendors do not have the same level of responsibility that established businesses do. But at the same time, people have to start their business life somewhere. And this is why the Mexican government offers opportunities for people who are just starting their business life from scratch to be able to do so in the most basic way. So that's the news. That said, one could argue that some of these vendors um, have started vending, you know, a number of years ago. And of course, the government makes this possible with the intention that you start your business life, you start to save money, and then eventually you open your own business. And one could say that some of the vendors have done that and have become prosperous on their own. And some vendors have never stopped being street vendors, but that's not for me or for you to decide. The bottom line is there will be no more permits being um, offered by the city to people that try to get them. And now let us go over to Conchas Chinas, where we get to check out the makeshift pipe system that Seapal had to install along poor Santa Barbara Street after it collapsed in order to be able to reestablish clean water distribution in Conchas Chinas and Amapas. Area residents, area residents had the opportunity to tour the work being done and had the opportunity to do, ask questions and learn uh, about this temporary installation, which now that it is completed, it will be able to pump as much as 30 liters per second of the precious liquid to the pump stations and tanks located in the area and destined to provide clean water for residents of both Conchas Chinas and Amapas. Of course, no details were provided as to the situation between the music, uh, the municipal government and the construction company responsible for the damage to the street and, of course, to the infrastructure. Uh, nor do we know if or when Santa Barbara Street will be reconstructed. We could say that it'll be reconstructed before they finish the highway to Guadalajara, but even that would be an adventurous assertion in my book. Let's take a look at the weather for this weekend. <clears throat> I beat every Elden Ring boss on the first try. Well, that that's with my ocular sensor. Okay, video games, we don't know much about that, so we're gonna skip the reference from our snarky weatherman today. I will let you know, though, that it is 25 degrees, feels like 27, humidity is at 50%, and Fahrenheit uh, fans will be happy to know that we're enjoying 77 degrees of temperature right now. Our weather forecast for today, clear day with a high temperature of 29 and a low temperature of 17. Tomorrow, Saturday, we can expect a clear day as well with a high temperature of 30 and a low temperature of 18. Sunday, another clear day with a high temperature of 30 and a low temperature of 18. Not bad at all. Now, moving right along with our leisurely headlines, I have to tell you that I love it when the first sentence of an article grabs my attention. And this article about the art walk starts by saying, 
uh, let's translate, the art walk nights in El Centro and Emiliano Zapata are becoming intense, transgressive, irreverent, but quite interesting and with a high artistic value that encourages us to exercise our mind, uh, challenges our intellect, and in occasion, our values and convictions through the works being exhibited. And of course, I went, okay, if somebody's like showing something that is transgressive and uh, intense and irreverent, I want to know about it. And of course, the article goes on to mention the fact that the Starving Artist Gallery on Juarez Street is presently featuring works by New York-based Russian artist and author Slava Mogutin. I don't know that I'm saying his last name correctly. And also by Canadian artist, writer, filmmaker, photographer, and underground bad boy Bruce La Bruce. And both of these artists definitely fit that bill. And I was just... I walked right past it and didn't think to stop by to see what was going on. But I'm going to leave you with the Facebook page so that you can learn more about these two artists and consider going uh, to check out their exhibition if this is your cup of tea. And next, of course, before we get into our chat chit, uh, chit chat, chat chit, <laughs> I want to fill you in on my adventures from yesterday, and um, it all starts with Bonito Kitchen. Here we go. Hello, everyone. I'm standing at the corner of Naranjo and Venustiano Carranza. Yes, that's the name of the street, right? Yes, it is. Yes, we are standing at the corner of Naranjo and Venustiano Carranza. El Brujo is right in front of me, but we're not so much concerned about El Brujo today. today we are curious to go check out the new location of Francine's wonderful restaurant, Bonito Kitchen, which just opened next to this tree, this ginormous tree that you cannot ever miss. So let's see if they let us in to have a quick look. Hola, buenas tardes. Pretty. ¿Puedo echar un vistazo? So here we are, we've just asked for permission to come in and I see that there's a new bar section over here. Buenas tardes. Que tal? So you can choose to sit at the bar, I suppose, or you can choose to sit at a table. Now, the last time I walked in here, it was an art gallery. And when it was an art gallery, I remember there was this wonderful patio behind it and clearly they have done something wonderful with it. Let's have a look. Ah, yes. So as, hey, so as you can see, the patio has been transformed. It's beautiful. Into this lovely space. Hello. Are you Francine? Yes. Oh my God, we get to meet each other in person. My name is Paco. Yes, I'm here. How nice, nice to you. meet Thank you. you. So much. Nice We're to meet here. You. here. Shade, please. Shade, nice? shade, yes. shade. So, how is it going? It's going really well. Thank uh -huh. you so much. Thank you. You know, I remember this space when it was an art gallery, and it was such a beautiful space. And I always hoped that somebody would do something wonderful with the garden. How I'm, long ago was that? Oh my God, I'm talking almost 10 years, 10 yeah, years ago. This year, used thought, to be called the genius yeah. of Paco. Nothing to do with me, <laughs> but uh, but I'm be I'm so glad that you made this transformation. Oh, thank Are you, you happy? So yes, I'm really happy how it turned out. Tell me a little bit about how the menu, the menu is new, different, improved. Well, it's a um, similar menu, but with an extended menu. Uh -huh. So we have a few more items than the original location because their kitchen is a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we are going to have also music here on Thursday night. So we have live music. Mm -hmm. And um, the cocktail list is much bigger. We have more special items here. Yeah. This is wonderful. Thank you. Well, this was a quick and dirty. I know oh, yeah. I didn't announce myself. It's okay. But no I found myself in the neighborhood and I figured I would just no problem. stop by and check it out. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you so I much. I hope I'll have a chance to. I hope so. Please yes. come by. I will. I will. I'm, I've enjoyed your location in, your in the Los Tules location. because uh -huh. it's very close to my home. But ah, okay. this is really yeah, wonderful. Please come. Uh, just let me know. And come at night because at night it's gorgeous. Of the course. The lit and the lights and just beautiful. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you so and much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you in person. <laughs> Likewise. 
So not only do I remember it as an art gallery, I used to teach paper mache and decoupage at that art gallery. It used to be called the Genius of Paco. So I remember, I remember being in that same patio uh, covering layers of newspapers with my students and letting, it, letting them out to air dry while we were doing our classes and workshops. The space was really awesome. And I could see, it was obviously in the middle of the day, I could see that she has all these uh, lights, strings, uh, strings of lights hanging from different parts of the patio. So I can only imagine that it is absolutely stunning during the evening. So I look forward to uh, dinner at Bonito Kitchen sometime in the near future. Maybe we can all go together. Of course, then I was close enough to the museum that I figured, you know, I want to go check it out. I, um, I must confess, I had some trepidation about the museum because I know that there is a lot of uh, um, English speaking energy and intention involved in the museum. And a museum, obviously, being open for the general public has to be open in the language of the general public. So I was, I just did not want to get to a place where everything was written in English and not enough attention was given to uh, Mexican nationals. And I was so happy to be wrong about my concerns. Check it out. So I'm approaching, this is um, uh, very visible in a corner not far from the Kuala River. And the door was open. Right now, they're not charging any money for admission. And you walk in and you're greeted by someone that gives you a welcome. And I was happy to see that the person that greeted uh, me and some other people is, is a Mexican national. I decided to go in on my own and check out the facilities. The property is enormous. Check out this psychedelic pool turned into artistic statement. Um, it is laid out in two levels. Both downstairs and upstairs have exhibition space. You walk in through this door, you think you're walking into the kitchen, but my God, look at this space. And this is the work of, um, oh my God, I'm blanking on her name right now. The director of Art Vallarta who curated, who, who curated all the works being shown here. Here we see works by, by Barragan, who is one of the early uh, uh, muralists of Puerto Vallarta, Ramón Barragán, and there's many important local artists being represented here. It is absolutely gorgeous inside. And I was very happy to see that all these texts that explain context, that offer context, are um, written in both English and Spanish. So this is the main art gallery in the bottom level. More explanations. Can I show the gallery on a map, says Alan? I will be so very happy to do that. And then I headed upstairs and upstairs I was able to see additional work. Uh, I can see that the art gallery is still being uh, fixed up. And I learned later on that the building owns to a private individual who has let the gallery people run it for a few years while they um, maybe are able to buy it. I don't know. but. Here is another very big, very spacious exhibition area. I love it how this old house was transformed and it was opened up. Just stunning. And for those of you that are asking for location and address, no worries. I will be happy to include all the information in the show notes. Check out that Virgin of Guadalupe. It was a canvas, but then it had some pieces painted right on the wall. It was a fascinating installation. 
And then I went outside to take a look at a balcony. I did overhear some comments that they are working on opening a small restaurant. So I don't know if the restaurant's gonna be downstairs or upstairs, but check out this beautiful um, outdoor terrace where you can oversee the entire property. Truly, truly amazing. And then, of course, I went downstairs to try to get some more specific information, and I was so very happy that my questions were answered. Check it out. Okay, so hopefully we'll get somebody to answer the important questions. Meanwhile, this is a beautiful space with a lot of potential, and hopefully it'll be a successful project. Hi. Hi. I was just wondering if you can tell me a little bit about. Hola. If you can tell me a little bit about. Here, would you stand in the shade? Yeah, thank you. More shade. More shade. My name is Paco. 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 Paco Geda. Si. Claro. Of course. So, what is the nonprofit status, or how does that work? Do you guys have nonprofit status in Mexico? Yes, we are a nonprofit organization, uh, una asociación civil. Qué bueno. And we. Uh, Right now, we don't uh, have any cost. I mean, you don't have any. The, the entry is, is free. Oh, the entry or... is free. Okay. Yes. Just for now. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, we we just can, um, have sorry two weeks open. I know. Congratulations. <laughs> Let me know. Paco Ojeda is uh, has a uh, YouTube channel. Oh, so he's very famous here in Puerto Rico. Uh oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we all... No, some of my some of my viewers wanted me to come and check it out, and I just wanted to see it. I'm very happy to see the space. I'm very happy to see that you guys hablan español. Yeah. I was concerned that the new project would be a project in English, with all due respect to my own viewers who speak English. But it's also important that a cultural event of this scope has an appeal to locals that hablamos español. Congratulations yeah, sure on that. I can, speak, I can speak in Spanish. Well, my viewers yeah. understand English, and that's why I'm asking the important uh, questions in English. This morning came uh, uh, two couples. And uh -huh. They told me, yeah, we heard uh, that Paco is uh, asking for some comments. So we came to visit the place, and now we're going to tell him what this is all about. So I'm glad you're here, Paco. Yes, and I'm glad I'm here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So that was quickie visit number two. Again, I was curious about the project and to the people, to the folks that went to check it out because I mentioned it, thank you very much for doing homework. I wanted to see it for myself. It was a delightful afternoon. I was able to get more details about the project. Of course, it is tied into Art Vallarta um, and, uh, and they are very much concerned about community outreach. Uh, presently, you can get in for free, but eventually there's going to be an admission price, and why not? This is a nonprofit, and it's properly registered in Mexico and perhaps in the United States as well. Uh, but I did want to make sure that they had all their 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 nonprofit status taken care of because I think it's important to mention that. Um, as far as the location, while we were watching, let me whip out the Google map so that you can see where this is located. So here is Emiliano Zapata. If you walk to the end of Emiliano Zapata, you get to the river. If you take a right and go down this way, you will pass um, the Red Cabbage, which is somewhere around here. And this is the street where the museum is located and it's right at this corner. And um, and again, I will make sure to leave uh, the Facebook page for the museum or the website for the museum. I forget which one I found, but what a great place. And I, of course, left them my business card and plea I asked them to please let me know whenever they have any kind of community-related events or things that we should be learning more about. And last but not least, I found myself um, still with enough time in my hands before a dinner invite that Michael Buford kindly offered me yesterday. We had a nice early dinner at Siam Cuisine. Yummy. But before we got there, um, I have expressed several times here in my, in, in your broadcast, not my broadcast, in your broadcast, 
um, my fascination for the work of ceramic artist Patricia Gall, who has had an, an, uh, an art studio and gallery on Basilio Valillo and who offers ceramic classes both here in town and also at her studio in El Tuito. Like literally, she works with clay from El Tuito and I think that's fascinating. Anyhow, I knew that she had left her location on the same block as Act Two Entertainment. She moved up one block east along um, along uh, blah, 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 Basilio Vadillo, and she's now located right across the street from Hacienda Alemana, and I could not resist taking a look there as well. Beautiful facade, it's painted yellow, you won't miss it. And it's so spacious. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Hello. Hello. Buenas tardes. How are you today? Good, and yourselves? Okay. Is Patricia around? She's not here, but she will be. Okay. May I look around? We are, of course, walking through Patricia Gall's new art gallery. And this space is phenomenal. Oh, my goodness. I've been a huge fan of everything she does, from these beautiful whimsical pieces that she makes inscribed with wonderful messages like peace and love and truth, to these larger scale ceramic pieces, Wow, which I absolutely adore. So very nice. And of course, Patricia teaches. As you can see, there are some people. Buenas tardes. There are some people teaching, learning, learning, teaching. Can I be nosy and see what you're doing, ma'am? Yes. Oh, another ma'am. She can. I mean, you can. Hi. Hello. What are you making? Well, I'm just glazing this piece. Just glazing this yes. thing, as if it was just some chingadera. You're making art. <laughs> What's your name? Yeah, I'm Claudia. Hola, Claudia. Hola. <laughs> so you work with Patricia? Mm -hmm. I work for her. This is fantastic. Yeah. So you guys must have opened, like... Uh, from uh, Tuesday to Friday. This is our first week opening. Oh, that's what I meant. Yes, you just yes. opened this week. Yes, it's our third day. Wow. And how's it going? It's pretty good. Yeah, it's very good. Like people like, like it a lot. And, uh -huh. and yeah, so it's Do you a think... nice space. And now you can see her art and their art. Like... Do you think I can interrupt I can interrupt your friend? What is her name? Christina. Christina. Hi Christina. Hi. Can I be nosy and approach? Hi. So you are Christina, you're a teacher, a student? Yes. I'm not a student, I'm a I'm a member. We we have sort of a open space and we to oh, work here. So you're an expert. Uh, no, but yeah. I'm, a, I'm I'm a former student. And what are you making, may I ask? Uh, this, I don't want to interrupt you, but I this just... is the Alice in Wonderland. Here. Oh wow! Okay, hold on. Full size. And I'm working on. Uh, well, these are her ceramics, guys. Legs. Holy cow! And these are her. That's her 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 pants. Pantaloons. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yes. You are so creative. What made you think of Alice? Um, actually, I found, uh, I usually start with something. Mm -hmm. um, you'll see my, some of my other pieces out here, they all have something they're holding or incorporated, a found object incorporated into the piece. And um, so this one, I started with a crown mm -hmm. and it, it's here somewhere, but it's too big. I'm going to have to have something made mm -hmm. a little smaller, but um, I don't know, just Got started and there it went. Do, did you live here locally? Like, uh, I've been a property owner here for 23 years. Congratulations. And now I spend about six to seven months a year here. Excellent. Yeah. So you're an English speaking local. I'm an English speaking local. Good for I, you. I, I try to speak a little, uh, little Spanish. So do I, but not very frequently. No. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. So you can see, folks, this is a great community space. Where construction is still going on, I can hear some noise coming from upstairs. 
Hasta pronto, Cloud. Bye bye. What's your name? Um, my name is Paco. Paco. Please tell, please tell Patricia that I stop by. Okay, bye bye. So there you see, there's art everywhere, and what an amazing space she has created here. Make sure to stop by and check it out. This is right on Basilio Vadillo, between Insurgentes and Naranjo. Aguacate. And we are signing off. Ciao. So, of course, as I was getting ready to leave, Patricia, the owner, walked in, and I was so very happy to connect with her directly. But even before I get to that, I mean, how exciting to walk into these spaces and seeing English speaking locals being creative and connecting with one another and connecting with community. I was just thrilled. And when Patricia arrived, she told me that this new location has space at the front for a small, tiny uh, pokey bowl type restaurant or, or something. So she is actually looking for someone that is interested in opening a small food uh, related business within her own gallery. So spread the word. You may be the person to do it, or you may know of somebody that is interested in that. And this, of course, brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Again, I was just, it was, it was good for the soul to be out and about. It was good for the soul to connect with these new places, check them out, and then, of course, bring them back to you for you to enjoy. And now let me rewind your comments just to see what you guys are up to this morning. Lots of good mornings as always. And we are so grateful for that. Raymond, our favorite bakery, says it's a wonderful viernes in Versailles. That's a triple V. It's a virginal, wonderful, voluptuous. I can think of other V, v words that we could apply, but let's not go there. Uh, let's see what else we have. Buddy, papi, papa. I know, oh, Michael, my soul goes to you. I know Michael is watching from La Lija. He is standing in line waiting to get his booster shot. Uh, as we know, booster shots were announced for people in their 30s. Michael is, of course, 22 years of age, and he is hoping that he will also be able to get a booster shot. Um, <clears throat> And he tells me that there are people of all ages waiting in line. So hopefully the government will be flexible and they will allow others to get their booster shot as well. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we have. Um, Brian says, today is one of the rare days when I can join live rather than watching on YouTube. That's awesome. Some exciting news to share and a request for help. My wife and I will be getting possession of our brand new condo in Diaz Ordaz in early April, one step closer to being a local. We are wondering if anyone has any recommendations where we can buy appliances, furniture, etc. Love the broadcast. Muchas gracias. Well, I saw a bunch of um, recommendations fly by, um, and I, I'm sure that you got some, and I'll add some others if I don't see specific businesses mentioned as I go through the comments. Mm. A new person, Kiara Lasty. Welcome, welcome to Coffee and Headlines. <laughs> see, no harm, just welcome. So seriously, Kiara, welcome to uh, the live broadcast. Uh, please feel free to ask any questions you have. And please feel free to enjoy the beverage of your choice. Let's see what else we have. Oh, Kiara can't wait to come back to her sunny paradise. Well, it's our sunny paradise too. But I'm no, I know that you share. I know that you share. Uh, let's see. Dan just got back from the fish market on Vienna. We'll be having fresh shrimp cocktail for lunch. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> Alan thinks that um, the Santa Barbara Street is going to be finished by Semana Santa as well. That is as snarky as it gets. We don't know when anything is going to be finished construction. Oh, but we are reminded of the fact that our president, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador, is supposed to be here uh, during the weekend to see what's going on with the highway. 
So we'll get some headlines about that next week, I'm sure. Logan Volunteers, a few places where you can buy appliances, of course. Lance, Costco, La Comer, Galerias El Triunfo. Um, you are missing Tio Sam's, but I see it's coming up in other comments. I love it. Gwen in town had a great dinner at Oregano with the Simpsons and met, met Taco the pig. Of course, Taco is a must say hello when you have dinner at Oregano. That is wonderful. Uh, -pa 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 -pam -pam -pam. Then I see your comments about the patio at um, Bonito Kitchen. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, let's see what else we have. Can you show the gallery on a map? We already did that. But again, we will leave all the information on the show notes for you to check out all three of these wonderful places. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's see. The museum is amazing, says Linda. Uh, it was beautiful. I was very, very pleasantly surprised, and I can't wait to see what kind of outreach things they do. Um, let's see. Let's see. R John says, I just noticed your chingadera is off your arm. The healing is going good, John. Of course, I still feel sore and have a difficulty moving about. But if anything, I'm glad that I don't have to wear it anymore in the house. I still have to wear it out and about for another week. But a week from today will be the last day I wear my bondage device. I see the orthopedic surgeon again in two more weeks. And we will see what follows after that. But I'm happy to report that I'm getting back to my normal self. Um, I can crochet again, so I am surrounded by yarn and ideas. So life is good. Let's see what else. Mark says somebody lost her nick her knickers. That the detail on that sculpture that woman was making of Alice in Wonderland was absolutely amazing and what beautiful work what beautiful work let's see what else thank you for your kind remarks about the broadcast you guys are awesome uh michael says still in line two hours in line and about 45 minutes to go well you know it moves briskly michael i appreciate that you are there and i certainly hope that you will be able to get your booster shot and um and please keep us posted to make sure that you are okay. Um, more great comments from you guys. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Mm, 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 mm. Mihal says Catherine and, and, and her went to see Brandon and James last night. I have my tail between the legs because we I never followed up on doing... Uh, uh, an interview with them this time around, and I, but I will reach out to them and make sure that they feel supported. And of course, we love the music that they do, and we will certainly be mindful of their return to Vallarta to let us know what's going on. Uh, let's see what else. Da -di -da -da. More kudos. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so very much for all these great comments of course as you know all of this that we do here is made possible by you because you sponsor our work either through your occasional coffees or through an ongoing subscription your subscription your membership to coffee and headlines empowers us to be able to continue doing what we do to upgrade our equipment to bring you better content each day so we are very very grateful for your allowing us to create nurturing connections with our city and our culture for you to enjoy. Kindly keep that in mind and kindly stay in touch with us as we move forward, um, as we look forward to more broadcasts. And of course, we'll be back tomorrow before we take Sunday off. So have an awesome day. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Make the best of it. And I hope I will see you again soon. Have a great day.